guys and welcome to another magic video. Today we're playing some World of Subway 3. <laughs> I'm not sure if we've actually played this game before on the channel. We might have, we might not have, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be starting a brand new series. We're going to be going through all of these missions, all the missions in this game. So we're leaving out the briefing because I know how to drive the train. So there is a manual online. Or there's other YouTube videos, but I'm not going to be doing the briefing unless I'm asked to go in the comments below. So we'll start today from mission number two, Standby Man. So you'll be a standby man today, take over the train at Mansion House and drive to schedule to Edgware Road. Always set up your train correctly and always stick to the schedule. So this is quite a basic mission because it's the second one, they get harder and harder. So that's basically what this series is going to be, is us going through all the missions at the end then we'll probably do some uh just you know just maybe some train spotting that sort of thing because you can just spawn in if you do it correctly you can spawn in as a person at uh on a, on a mansion house route and then get on a, another train right you can stand, stand take over the train at mansion house and drive to edgeware road always set up your train correctly this doesn't look like mansion house wait for the next train and got on as a passenger to mansion house so yeah, we need to we need to be a passenger as far as Mansion House, and then we're going to actually get on our first ever train. So we're waiting now for the the trains to arrive. I'm not sure how long it'll be, so I have to just wait and see on that. There's the little tube map. Not great textures. I wish my guy's head would stop moving, so I can actually take a peek at this. So we're going Algate, uh, Tower Hill, Monument, Cannon Street, Mansion House. It's only a few stops. Uh, on the circle line. It's only based on the circle line, by the way. We're just, we're just waiting for our train, so presumably if they've timed this correctly, this scenario correctly, we won't have to bother with um, you know, waiting too long. Hopefully they have been timed correctly, because like, I can't bother to wait very long. Unfortunately, it's, it's one thing about the game, is we don't have, um, there's no like destination boards, cheap boards, unfortunately, for us to see, so, yeah, well, come on, where are you, train? Funny. <laughs> where is this train, seriously? It's taking its time. It's a bit of an outdated uh, tube map. I'm not sure what that green line is. It doesn't appear on the tube map anymore. Does it, does it say somewhere? I mean, I'm positive there isn't a green line on the tube map anymore. Green. Hackney and Chelsea. It's, it's like, like... I have to look that up. Maybe it's part of, like, TFL now, or... Maybe it's part of... Okay, so that one is leaving, which means there might be one in, another, in the other direction now. Which, of course, will be ours. Because normally trains do spend a bit of time in Algate. I'm just, you know. Oh, what the? Okay, so that happened. <laughs> okay. We, we just fell out of the world. Let's just ignore that. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. This game, you know, I mean, it's not always the, the least buggy game ever. It's definitely not. It's a fun game, though. I've been getting into it lately. I didn't know this mission would involve so much waiting around, otherwise I honestly would have started it earlier. I then started the recording now. Come on, where are you, train? Unlike Train Tim, there's no map to view where the train is. Oh, there was a little lag spike then. That lag spike could mean a train. Possibly. It's got a green signal, so it could show up any time now. I hear an approaching train, possibly. Yep, I do. It's here. So we'll be a passenger. We can't actually sit down, unfortunately. We have to stand up. It's a bit odd. I don't know why we have to sit down, but we do. Oh well. I'm a bit further down. Obviously, this game's quite old, so we're using the old C stock rather than the brand new. Uh, S stock that you find on the London Underground now. Oh, 
I can't really do first person camera because it keeps shaking. I can't turn that off, can I? Nope. Maybe I could have turned it off in the menu, but I can't turn it off now, so. Oh well. I have to just sit here, I guess. What you can do is you can trap the camera outside if you do it correctly. What the? Wait, he just rode train and then he just waits here. Wow. Oh dear, but I was not expected. So now I'm just stuck here then, waiting. We're six minutes into the video and this train is... <laughs> we're still in Aldgate. Aldgate? Aldgate? I don't know. We're still there. Whatever it is. Wait, wait what? Yeah, the camera was tricking me a bit. I want to get a few forwards. Like, but without the head movement. Oh, we're going. So off we go. There you go, this is a pretty good view. Can this guy, I don't know why he moves his head round, it's really annoying. There's no button I seem to be able to press. To fix it, unfortunately. So obviously all this time, time has been running as well, so hopefully by the time we get to Mansion House and set our train up, we'll be on time. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Probably about 40 minutes long by the time we actually get to Birchware Road at this rate, won't it? So there's a district line train. You can't actually, unfortunately, you can see the D stock trains and you can see the, see the A stock um, metropolitan line trains as well, but you can't get on them, unfortunately. You can only get on the circle line. I don't know why, because they have rendered the inside of the district and metropolitan. You just can't get on them for some reason. I can't really understand why. So we're approaching what Tower Hill now. Uh, the announcements do work in this game, so we should get to something bigger. Is Tower Hill change for Docklands Light Railway services from Tower Gateway and National Rail services from Fenchurch Street? Exit in Tower of London and Tower Bridge. Yeah, unfortunately we can't actually um, get off. We, we can get off all these stations, but we can't like transfer lines, which is a, again a bit of a shame, but well, that's how it works, unfortunately. So there's only a few stops on here, as far as Mansion House, so hopefully we won't be on here too long. Whoa! That guy just like jumped out of his seat. What? Wait, what? I'm positive if we teleport slightly. The announcement is still going, they just left. This is a circle line train to Edgware Road via Embankment and Victoria. See, so on our way to what I think it's Monument. Uh, then Cannon Street, then Mansion House, so hopefully not very long. And then obviously we're taking a different train. We're either taking this train, we might be driving this train, you know, I don't know. We might be, take, we might be driving this one. Or, or when we pull into Mansion House, there'll be one on the siding. That's quite quick, luckily. Waterloo and City. Northern and central lines from Bank. Got a red signal. Uh. <laughs> okay, yeah, there are a few bugs a bit like that in this game, unfortunately, but deal with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I do enjoy this game. I, I think it's a very fun thing to play. Obviously, it makes, you know, it makes a little bit of a difference from the, the usual stuff we get up to on Roblox. 
uh, in on my channel. So you know, do something a bit, bit, bit more interesting. You know, it would be a nice, interesting series to do. I think so. Well, what the? I'm positive I keep teleporting slightly there. I must do. <laughs> And as usual, my the mic keeps falling down. Beautiful. Will literally stop and then go immediately. So we're off to Cannon Street now. And then we're off straight away to Mansion House. My mic's fell down again, so hopefully... Let's just leave it in that position instead, maybe. Might be a bit better in that position, maybe. I don't know, I, I'll put it back to where it was. I've moved it one higher now. And that's too quiet, then. <laughs> right, please stay where... I want it, it's, it's annoying, I want it to stay in that one position and it keeps moving. Let's just put it one down. Maybe that'll solve it, then. Headphones and put them back on, they're now a bit better, and hopefully, the mic will stay. Fingers crossed. And I just knocked my mic with my fingers, nice. The next station is Mansion House. Right, we're approaching our stop. My mic is back in position. We should be good now. crossed right okay <laughs> so yeah, take over the train on the other side and set it up watch your schedule so that's our train over there we need to go ahead and set it up so let's move down to this end of the actually no I'm moving to this end but we set up, we'll set up the front and then we walk down the back turn on the back um, the rear basically the rear tail lights and then that's it then we'll set up so this is our train so let's get on it well, obviously, let's get on that. So, so let's get. So go ahead and sit down. So let's check. It's currently eight forty-eight. We're due out in twelve minutes. So we've got a bit of time yet. That's nice. So we want to. So first job is. Passenger heating, passenger light, open the doors and then give this thing power. So we want to move this two, two forward, give the train power. There you go, that's all working. And then we need to get ventilation on, pad lights on, dashboard lights, destination light, cab light. Test lights and then do brake test. So there we go, that's that done. So what we want to do now is run over here, run over to the back of the train and get the tail lights set up. So we've got people getting on our train, look, there's a district line train. I don't know where it's going. They're obviously turned into class 230s now, they have. Where's that one going? Not in service, apparently. That's because it's on the back. I don't know, they might always say not in service. I can't remember now. So, yeah, so this is a little extra platform here at Mansion House. Whoa, there you go. Press Q to open. See, look. So there's no, there's no lights on the back currently, so let's go ahead and... We don't, need to, we don't need to fire anything else up. So we just want we want ventilation on. 
heating. I'm not sure if you need to do it for both cabs, but it can end your scenario if we don't do it properly, so better safe than sorry with this. And then tail lights. So there they are, the tail lights are on. Right, let's run down the other end of the platform and I just really hope we've set up this, this train properly. Uh, I wish my mic would stop moving. <laughs> I don't know cause it to move, honestly. It's something. They, I'll keep it in that position instead, then. The train should be all set up now. And then we need to go program and then circle line outer rail. We're starting at Mansion House. Going to Edgware Road End. There you go. Uh, so we've got. Um, um, as long as that, we can't skip time, unfortunately. So we're just going to be waiting here uh, for seven minutes, unfortunately. I know. Annoying. I'm trying to think of what to say now. Number nine. This service will be held here for a short time. Uh, so we need to change this now to Edgware Road, because that's where we're going. And that's it. There is nothing else for us to do. Make sure all this is turned on, which it is. So we are basically good now. to stay put there and um, that's it unfortunately we are just stuck here now for six minutes and then after that it's a 31 minute journey down to Edgeware Road so obviously we need to stick to speed limits and all that make sure this is turned on we can't actually use any of this stuff up here it's not complicated enough for that Everything's all set up on this train. <laughs> just that's in the forward position. It is. Can't. These are just opening the doors. Uh, which is F5 and F6. That's what I use. Uh, there's a district line train arriving. So we are all set up and ready to go. Just about waiting now. Where there's nothing we can do. So yeah. I don't know what to talk about for the however long it is now. Can we, I don't think we can do anything with that stuff over there. I can't even move the camera that far, so. If I can get out, look, it turns on that. Yeah, I can't use any of this stuff. Right, hello. Uh, no, there's, there's literally no one in this carriage. Oh, well. Um, there's no one in this carriage, so I can't say hello to anybody. So we are all good. So five, four and a half minutes now. Oh, there's a train leaving on the other side. So we might be behind. There might be another one after that one, and then us, or it might be we're just straight after that one. I'm not sure.
to why you can just see the lights like just disappearing. You can see the lights for quite some time before they disappear. Oh wow, my my microphone is annoying. I wish it would just stop falling. place it slightly lower down. I don't, I don't want to do that. Let's place it there and just keep moving it every time it falls down. <laughs> We've got time to get anyway so it doesn't really matter. Right so the train's got power. That's, that's the pressure though. We need to make sure it has pressure. Uh, that's the mile per hour gauge. We don't really need to look at that because of our route monitor. That's about it. We've got the destination board set, the heating and the ventilation turned on. You always need also if we if we have set this this train wrong, it'll um, fail the scenario. So yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. Okay, so the bait, the brake test, all done. You don't actually have to do it unless you've got an option ticked to say you have to do it. But I do it anyway. Um, you've got the cab ventilation on. Make sure the headlights, all the lights really. Obviously, heating, ventilation, so all that, and then obviously the tail lights on the back. You want you know, this, the destination board set, and the announcer set up, and that's about it, really, in terms of what you want set up. Everything else doesn't really matter. So it's quite a long gap to our next station because Blackfriars is shut. So. Uh, in this version, obviously, it was, I think it's based in 2012, 2013, somewhere around there. That's when this uh, game is based. So at that time, whenever it was, Blackfriars was shut. So we're going straight to Temple, but we do need to. The announcer still says Tem still says Blackfriars. We need to go up here, click the little program button. Oh, there's. I just heard a train. I can't see it actually. Oh well. It's F5, F6 for the doors, F7, F8 for the cab doors. And that's about it really. Right, we're, we're off in a minute and a half now. This video will be approaching an hour long. It's going to take an age to upload. So there, there it goes. It's a circle line. Um, we're straight after I assume then. Uh, you can't really fit another train in that gap. I mean, it's a bit odd to have two circle lines together. Normally, it runs roughly circle districts like that. But I guess they weren't able to do that at the time we're doing it. So we're off in one minute. So we'll base. I'll basically be off as soon as that one is out of view. Cause I'll leave roughly 30 seconds early. Just make sure there's no one else. There you go. So there's a guy standing at the bottom of the platform. He's going to get on. Just make sure there's no one else getting on. Basically. Obviously, don't, don't want to squash them. Well, that doesn't really happen. So we're all getting ready to go now. So let's just go ahead and run a little announcement. So I don't know. Mind the gap. Please remember, smoking is not allowed on any London Underground train or station. Thank you for travelling on the Circle Line. This train is ready to depart. Please stand clear of the doors. So there we are. We are off 10 seconds early. Um, don't, I'm not going to bother running that close the doors like thing all the time. I don't. I never bother doing it all the time because it seems like a bit of a waste of time, really. So off we go. The speed limit along this part of the line is mostly 35, 40. There's quite a long gap to the next station. We'll have to slow down for Blackfriars which, as I mentioned earlier, is shut currently at this time. So, slow down to 10. And it appears there's a little red signal up there as well. The next station is closed. This train will not stop at the next station. So we go past Blackfriars and then onwards. go really slow through Blackfriars which is obviously shut at this moment in time that the game's taking place. The next signal's red 
ahead anyway, so we probably won't be because I think we are easily close to that circle line that was ahead of us. We're not massively close, but we are within one signal close. So off we go, speeding up now. But we will actually. This thing does stop quickly. I mean, really, if you put on emergency brakes, you can basically stop straight away, like within 100 metres of a signal. Based on from when you see it, even. So. Here's our red signal up here. Sort of slow down. Make sure we don't get caught out by it. There's the train ahead, look, the one. One that overtook us. The next station is Temple. Exit for Somerset House. So they go, we've just stopped now. Waiting for that one ahead to go. There you go, we're now allowed to go into the station. There's another red signal just before the platform, uh, but it should have cleared by the time we get in. And then we'll, we'll speed up, go into the station. Again, this thing stops very quickly. We want to basically stop at the edge of the platform. wait make sure everyone's got on slash off those, those people might be getting off actually in real life there's meant to be screens by all these stations but in this game they're either there and they don't work or they're not there at all <laughs> that's that's how it works in this game unfortunately so we're sitting here by temple currently and next, i'm not sure what the next station is is it embankment it might be embankment i don't know the circle line that well i know it a bit <coughs> right, 15 seconds before departure. Off we go. I always give myself about 15 seconds out of stations just to make sure. Yeah, next station is Embankment, so I got that right then. The top speed of this thing is meant to be 40, but it does surge past 40. Right, the next signal might be red looking at that. And this is what I mean by the signals being really close together. Great. They are stupidly close together, those two signals, and it always tricks me. Always tricks me that one. They're literally about 90 meters apart. It's really dumb. <laughs> I don't know why they're so close together, but they are, and it annoys me. <laughs> right, arriving to embankment. We're slightly early, not as early as before. Stop. Change here for the, the little bits of paper I put over the buttons that tell me what start and stop recording is appear to have. They keep moving the bits of paper. I must be blown away. So we've got about 15 seconds here. See, there's those from the screens I'm talking about. They don't work, unfortunately. I'm not sure there's a graphic setting for it. Right, these people are getting on because we're going in five seconds. Right, on. Everybody on, on quickly. Right, off we go. <coughs> I'm 
not sure what the next station is now. Say hello to that AI for no apparent reason. It's another circled line going in the other direction. So next up is Westminster. Uh, quite a short gap between these stations, so we won't have much time to wait around down in Westminster. Make sure not to break the signal. Break, but when I was doing one, not one record, but when I was just doing a mission, just to make sure I knew how to set up the train, I spared and it ended, ended the scenario. So you need to be quite careful with the speed limits in this game. Nice gentle stop. Wait until the announcement finishes and then we'll go straight away. Exit here for Westminster Abbey and Houses of Parliament. This is a circle line train to Edgware Road via Victoria and High Street Kensington. So we're about 10 seconds late now. Unfortunately, hopefully we can make back that time later. Or just leave in the middle of the announcement like the AI. We could just do that. <laughs> Overreacted there. Don't, don't want to speed in this game. It's not a good idea. There's actually two minutes between for the next stop now, so we're good. In terms of time. But yeah, you don't want to speed in this game. It's not a good idea. There's a, there's a district, district line train there. St. James's Park's quite a nice station. It's on a, it's on a corner. Again, nice. Edgware Road via Victoria and High Street Kensington. Twenty seconds early, so just gonna wait here, like that circle line train is doing over there. As long as I do like the graphics of this game. It's, you know, it's quite an old game. It's actually pretty good. I'm not running out of Steam. I'm running out of Aerosoft. Um, but it's, it's pretty good. I can't remember how much. It, I think I got it on disc. Uh, this game quite a while ago. But it's actually quite good, like, oh, sidetracked by talking, off we go, we're not late, but yeah, we were close to being late. So I'm, I can't remember what the next stop is now, though. Is it Victoria already? Yep, it is Victoria. And it's quite a long gap and there's st still only the two minutes. I think the two minutes is good enough. Because we're already closing in on Victoria, so we're pretty good. The next station is Victoria. Change for the Victoria Line, National Rail Services. And uh, this, this one's basically out. It does get more out in the open, the circle line, when you get further into it. You get some station. It is a subsurface line, it's not proper underground. A bit early again, nice. as long as we waited for the train at the start. I'm just thinking back to when we were doing that, like, that was ages ago. I can't actually save it, unfortunately. You can't save a, uh, a scenario, and that turned up then off, did it? Yep. Right, off we go. <coughs> Next station, was it Sloan, no, Sloan Square was the last one, wasn't it? No, I think it's Sloan Square. 
Let's see if I'm correct. <laughs> About the, the station knowledge. Yeah, it is Slim Square. Nice. I don't know why I said nice like that. There's, I mean, it's just Sloan Square. It's, I mean, it's quite nice, but... <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. So just by that circle line ahead of us, we haven't really seen much more of it. Um, maybe the timetable spread out, spread us out a bit. Sloan Square. Early again. I do quite like Sloan Square Station. It's a good one for tube spotting in this game. It's like slightly above ground, basically, as well. So here we are, Sloan Square. Got about 25 seconds to wait again, so pretty normal. We are we are sticking to this timetable pretty well, which is obviously nice. It's nice to stick to the timetable. Obviously, I don't I don't know. I've never actually completed the mission in this game. I don't think, or at least not for a very long time. So I can't take remember what happens. Uh, whether it gives like a summary screen, or whether it's like well done, you completed it. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. By the way, so it's, it's a bit longer than the usual. Um. I enjoyed this game though, that's, that's why. It's different to the Roblox, that was my thinking behind it. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. South Kensington next stop, I thought it might be. It's a very long gap actually, that's why we have three minutes. So we might have to wait a bit of time in, Sloan, in South Kensington. I think the speed limits do go down quite a bit before you actually reach the station though. We might run into a red signal here. I've run into a red signal at South Kensington before, so we might have to wait and see. One place where you always get held at a red signal though is um, like Edgware Road, because <laughs> there's like two parts of the circle line meet there, so you always get stuck in a red signal. Had a little red signal there. But we're off again. And the next one's green. Like, immediately green. It doesn't make any sense. But okay. We're quite... I think we'll still be reasonably early, though. So that was... So as I said, we, we did encounter red there. It's not unusual. We've got a red and a... We've got a green and a yellow next as well, so... There's probably... Yeah, there's another red before the platform. Out in the open now. So this is this might be our first glimpse of that circle line train in ages. There it is. Look. Oh, it's a district line. It's joined us. That's why. That's why. That's the explanation for the sudden red signal line. That wasn't there before. So it must have joined us from another branch. It's weird. Look. There's a tiny bit of green signal, and then it's just immediately a red signal, like 20 meters later. But obviously, by the time that green that district line's left, it's now clear for us to go in. <coughs> And we are still a minute early, so we're good. Despite the small bits of queuing. South Kensington. It was a bit of a gap between Sloan Square and here because of the red signals obviously being held up by that district line. Next up I think is High Street Kensington so that district line might go off somewhere separate, it gets a bit busier, all the lines sort of interchange for the district around High Street Kensington so off we go. So you can see 
that the next signal is only 300 metres away and it's red already. So we obviously haven't got too far away, have we, from that district train. It's been, oh, it's Gloucester Road next. I thought it was High Street Kensington. It doesn't really matter. We've got a red signal up here, so we can just... Yeah, that's, the, that's why the stations are actually pretty close together. It's a green now, though. We've gone back to a green. Because there are two platforms here, so there's the, so the district line, as I said, forks off a wrap between here and High Street Kensington, somewhere in that area. So that's the district line train that we were only with for like a short bit. So there it is, it's going down to Eden Broadway. So, it'll be going back the other way, maybe, even. We're quite early, actually, 9.17 from here. So we've got a good bit of waiting to do. Because I think maybe we should have been held up more than we were. Got a bit lucky with it. But the next one, I think, is High Street Kensington now. Only about 14 minutes to Edgware Road, both to our schedule. Not bad. <laughs> this, this, this video is in the 41 minute mark right now, so... It's a fairly long one. I mean, according to it, it's that, di that district line train's lights, it's still going that way. I, I can't remember totally the, the underground, but I think Ealing Broadway might be in the other direction. Or maybe it splits off just after here, I can't remember. I don't have a tube map by my side <laughs> uh, to look at, so I'm, I'll make, maybe I'll have that for next, next episode. Right, F6 on the controls, off we go. I think it is High Street Kensington next now, and we shouldn't have any more problems with red signals now we've overtaken that district line. Hopefully. The speed it does actually go down. Whoa! In real life, if that speed sign had been knocked down, that would be the best thing ever. Like, so realistic. Right, yeah, four minutes to High Street Kensington, so I'll probably be waiting there a little bit then. Unless we, I mean, I know it's a low speed limit, so maybe it's... But we might very well get a red signal. I'm saying that for the next 700 metres, we're green, so... Either we're going to be very early, or this 25 mile per hour speed limit does actually mean... That I'm just, like, completely, you know, like, messing it up. So that's where the district line train will go, I think, down that tunnel there. Possibly. Oh, we're back into the tunnels for a bit now. I don't know why it's 25 on this section. Because, I mean, it's not particularly curved, is it? It's not like we need 25 mile an hour. But I've learned from this game, respect the speed limits. <laughs> Always respect to the speed limits. Because if you don't, yeah, it's not going to go well for you. I've, I've, I've learned that already. I've learned my lesson on that one. Respect speed limits. <laughs> Coming up to High Street Kensington, and we are, as I thought, about three minutes early. So we'll have, we'll have a decent bit of waiting here. I'll have to run the uh, train hound announcement there. The next station is High Street Kensington. See, there's the district line platform across there. So the district line does meet up back with us. And the circle line just there. In the opposite direction. So we are nice and early. We're here for two minutes now. So train house number nine. This service will be held here for a short time to even out the gaps in the service. I think that's the only train held one we've got. Yeah, it is. So that's that's run now. So we'll just sit here waiting for two minutes. I don't know why there's such a massive gap in the timetable. Maybe normally there's more red signals than we have. Maybe we got lucky. <laughs> I don't know. We're good. So it's about a minute and a half now to get to go. Actually, no, it's a minute. One minute.
Right, so where was that? There you go, 920, so 45 seconds. And then after that, it's nine, just nine minutes to Edgware Road. So this 29, no, 31 minute journey has flew by. I do like this game. It's a nice, simple train sim. It's good fun. They've, they've done a New York version, actually, so we might have to, might have to buy that. I've tried World of Subways 2, I think it was, the Berlin, whichever one, either one or two. I think it was two, whichever one the Berlin one was. Unfortunately, it wouldn't run. I bought it, started it up, and then it wouldn't start. Ever. I reported it to Steam support and got nothing. I searched up online, got nothing, so I refunded the game. Um, but they've also done World, World of Subways 1, it's quite old, so I don't, I don't think it's particularly good. World of Subways 4 is, actually, is New York again, and they've got a, like a story mode in it. So maybe once we finish this, I can get World of Subways 4 and do the story mode in it. Possibly. I think the requirements for that might be a little bit higher, but the new processors will be on its way in the next month and a half now, so we should be good. We're on our way out of High Street Kensington. Next stop, Notting Hill Gate. I'm not sure if the, like, the S stocks don't fit on the platform, either here or on Bayswater. I can't remember where it is, so I'm not sure. I think these might be shorter than the S stocks, so. It, it should be will say on the announcement, but it obviously if, it does, if that does happen, we'll make sure to park quite far down the platform. Well, as far down as we, we normally park pretty far down, but you know, just to make sure. Right, we're approaching Notting Hill Gate now. We've got a bit of time actually to kill. Here again. Well, there's no announcement about the doors opening in the wrong place, so either it doesn't happen here or the S stock is no, the C stock is slightly shorter. Right, we're slowing down now. Got just under a minute to wait here. This is a circle line train to Edgware Road via Paddington. So we've got Notting Hill Gate, Bayswater, Paddington, I think. And then obviously Edgware Road, I think that's it. So was that one I don't know, one, two, three stops including Edgware, Edgware Road. Two stops. It says two stops then Edgware Road, basically. Once we leave this one. <laughs> it's getting too complicated. Why, why do I make things complicated? Why do I make them sound complicated when they don't need to be? Oh well. So I've got ten seconds to go and then we'll be off. Off we go! So next up should be Bayswater, then Paddington, then Edgware Road. Pretty good! And then that'll be it then. This long, well by the time we finish it'll be about an hour long. It's currently running 48 minutes. Oh there's another circle line there, nice. Yep, yeah, Bayswater next stop. Just as I thought. Got no signals until the end of Bayswater now. Oh. Rip, rip. I was not watching the speed then. We could have just failed that scenario. Rip. I would honestly, that would have been major oof if I had just failed that. It would have been like, ooh. Great. But luckily, I did notice it. Panicked a bit, maybe. But we're good. We're good. little lag spike then for some reason on the game. Also this isn't on Steam so there's no FPS counter unfortunately. Right slowing down. Oh we might have overshot. Nope I think we're good. A teeny overshoot. Pretty good. Right we've got 30 seconds here so not too long. We've timed it pretty well. So one stop, then Edgware Road after this, so I found a way to simplify it. Not long to go. So this video should end up being about 57 minutes long, something like that. Predictions. I'm getting these random little lag spikes occasionally. Quite rarely, but occasionally. Right, we can go now. So next up Paddington and then our terminus, Edgware Road, right from Mansion House all the way to Edgware Road. 
Uh, and then the next one is maintenance. This is the one I failed, the, the one I attempted to see if I could set up the train properly. I failed it because I went too fast in the road, in the, like, the, the road works. You basically go, it's from Edgware Road to South Kensington, um, but you do it on the wrong section of the line at night because of the, uh, engineering work. Right, so Paddington, next stop. Not far now, 400 metres to Paddington. Yeah, there was a little flag, so I don't know, it's because I think Edgware Road in Paddington is like a busier bit of the circle line, there's more scenery. But yeah, there's little lag spikes. But I weren't getting, I wasn't getting earlier. Right, slowing down into Paddington. again to wait and then we're off to Edgware Road 52 minutes almost now this video this is probably the longest video I've done in an age this could be a stream but I don't bother streaming on this PC anymore because of the Wi-Fi but we have got a Wi-Fi extender now so I did an internet speed test and it has improved so maybe we'll think about streaming because there are like future scenarios of this are even long are even longer I think I'll check now at the end of this episode. I'll put Ashley. Let's run through it in the episode. Ashley, no, I'll do it. I'll do it when it off off camera. I'll check which ones, you know, like what, what we're doing in this series. So it's ten missions. This is the second mission. The first mission is the tutorial. So unless you guys want me to run through the tutorial, because I I already know how to drive the train, so it's kind of pointless for me to, just to do the tutorial. Uh, so unless you guys specifically want the tutorial, I'm not going to do it. Um. So this, so it's, this is the first mission, basically. And there's nine missions. So just think about it like that. So approaching Edgware Road, which is our final stop. We're getting more lag spikes. Uh, there are some weird signals at Edgware Road that are really close together, like at South Kensington. There was those really close ones at the platform. I have been tricked out by them before, so. I'll, keep an eye out because I don't want to fail at the last hurdle at, the, at this really after you know trying for what 53 minutes remember us on that platform back at Aldgate we caught the train to Mansion House got on this train and we've been the driver of this train since Mansion House it's been a pretty long scenario actually thinking about it I don't see any red ahead of us so we should be good I've slowed down just to make sure I don't get caught. So there's that red signal I'm talking about. Look. If I was going onto another platform, that could trick me out. It's that, because sometimes it faces the other way. That's what tricks me out. But we're good. There's no surprise signals to trick me. So here we are in Edgware Road. This train's terminated here. So we'll run the, uh, this train terminates here. All change, please. Announcement. I assume we just fire, we turn everything off now. I'm not sure what I do now entirely. <laughs> if I close the doors. Do I switch something off at the at the back of the cab, maybe? So we're here after a long journey. We're back. Oh great, I 
I haven't done a great job of parking there, have I? Well, not parking, but like stopping. I, I really haven't done a great job. <laughs> Oops. How am I supposed to reach the back of the train like that? Yeah, that, that was a bit of an oops, mate. Oopsie, that was. Oh, okay. I just successfully completed the mission. Okay. That somehow did it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so 56 minutes in the end, not bad, pretty long video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I've enjoyed making it, I've enjoyed driving the train, I've enjoyed being a passenger on the underground. And you know what, let's just run through the missions, because, well, why not? So we've got maintenance, so that's Edgware Road to South Kensington, shuttle service, extreme speed limits, well, extreme speed limits there, little typo. <laughs> Collecting. So this this is interesting. I've never done this before. I thought we need to take the train to the depot. Uh, Edgware Road to Hammersmith. And then we need to couple on another car and drive it to the depot. So that's an interesting one. Stand by mine number two. We've got to go from Edgware Road to Aldgate. Passenger to Moorgate. And then another train to Hammersmith. Support. Which is we're just doing an extra train between Aldgate and Edgware Road. And then we need to drive it back. Delay. Which is an accident on the circle line. Train at from Tower Hill, I assume, to Edgware Road, and we're five minutes late, we need to try and catch up with the delay. It's raining again in London, people have to get it work, take over the first train from Moorgate to Hammersmith. Bridge maintenance, so we have to go between Hammersmith and Edgware Road. Some sections have a speed limit 15 miles per hour, so basically just strict speed limits and then catch up the delay. Support number two, traffic jam in the morning, we need you to, as support, go from Edgware, Edgware Road to Mansion House and get back as quickly as possible. So, there are all the different missions we'll be covering. If any of you guys want me to do the tutorial, then I will. Drive to schedule. Then as well, we've got all these uh, scheduled scheduled trips we can do. Some of which lasting up to an hour and 20 minutes. An hour and 15 minutes. Uh, and then some of them quite short. Like just 15 minutes. So again, we could do that maybe in a stream in some episodes. See what you guys want in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.